Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to talk about my Christmas present. Yay! I was so lucky this Christmas and somebody purchased me my beautiful Michael Kors runway smartwatch and I have been obsessed with it, okay? There's no way to describe it. I have been totally obsessed. I wear it pretty much every day and the days I forget to put it on, I genuinely feel a little bit lost. So, I sat there for my birthday uh, people were asking me loads of questions. What do you want? What do you want? I'm like, I don't really know. I'm like, I actually don't know this year. I didn't think, find anything that I wanted. So I said, do you know what I'd really like? I'd really like a new strap for my watch. So that I can wear this one for my every day to work because it's beautiful. And when I um, go to boot camp, I can wear this because it does all your heart rates and stuff, right? But I'd really like one so that when I go out, it up. Okay, so I was lucky enough to get the strap. Okay, so this is the Michael Kors rose gold strap. Now, I thought I'd do a quick like little video <laughs> on how you change it. Okay, and I can't, oh, I can't even words can't describe how easy it is. The worst bit is trying to work out which strap goes on which end. Yeah, I know. So we're gonna start off. Here is my Michael Kors. You flip it over, there's a little button here. All you literally do is pull it back and out it comes. That's it, it is that easy. Basically, this little pin sits evenly on both sides. You see the tiny, tiny pin sticking out? And when it's in, if you pull the little tab across, it all comes out to one side and it basically just pushes in. It's like a spring on the inside, okay? That is it. Then the same goes again. Getting on is a little bit more difficult. So flip it over. Oh, it's trying to, I'm gonna stand up for this. All you do is you push it in on one end. Okay, so it's in on one side. Oh, please focus. You pull this little strap back. Hold on, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. I will, I'm gonna do it for you guys, okay? So it's in on one side. You see that? I hope you can. All you then do is pull this little lever back and push your watch in, let go. I don't think that was on camera. I'm gonna try again with the other side. Okay, so you pull the lever across and pull it out. Done. Now then, I find it easier at this stage to actually unhook the watch. It is so much easier. Can you hear it buzzing? Because it wants, it wants the code. So, here's the watch. You slide it in. Please don't break it now. You get the little lever. Hold on, I can't do it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Have faith in me, people, have faith. Okay, so it's in on one side. It's not in on the other. You then pull this back. And that's it. I think I got that on camera, I'm so happy. And then, you, you literally, I was actually really, yeah. You have a whole total new watch look, okay? Because the thing is, with it being so ridiculously expensive, I'm just gonna sit down for a moment. With it being so expensive, I didn't want two watches because I felt like, this is gonna sound really weird, I know. This one, was beautiful but when i went out like for a wedding or for an instance that one didn't look the same so it looked kind of a bit sportified now my watch looks beautiful <laughs> i know i know i'm so so goddamn lucky it's ridiculous um obviously that's just a normal buckle this one you unhook the clasp and then you just literally it's got like a little hook a little bar and a little hook in there and i just oh, I love it. So, we're gonna take it off. Yes, I find it easier to take, undo it as well. So there's your little leather lock, just there at the side of my finger. Pull it back, and it unhooks. It, they are a bit, it's a bit harder to get out than obviously the metal one. Then by this stage, I like to flip my watch over, take my little hook, and put it back on. Turn the watch back over. In fact, to be fair, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm absolutely thick and an idiot, 
I actually like to put the top strap back on. Okay, so hook into one side, get it ready, pull your little thing back, and in it goes. Just as easy as that. The reason why I'm putting this back on, by the way, is because I am at work later. And I don't wear the rose gold one for work. Oh, I let go. What a fool. I can't get in. I'm failing miserably. It's because I'm trying to do it on the camera for you guys. There you go. No, missed it. There you go. And that is it. I'm going to put my watch on now. Wait, am I? Yep. And now I'm going to put my watch strap on, which I'm feeling up. There it is. My Michael Kors. And there is my uh, second Michael Kors watch. Watch? Watch? Watch is watch and strap in one word. Yes, I keep it in the box. Um, just to protect it, basically. My jewelry box is a stackers. It's not big enough. I need another layer for it. One that I will get one day. But at the moment, I'd rather spend the money on something else. So yeah, um, I love how I can dress it up and I just love it. I love my watch so much. It's something I wear every day. <laughs> and yeah. So I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you got a little bit of information out of this and I hope you found it a little bit useful. Please click here to subscribe. Click here to check out one of my latest videos and click down here to see a video that YouTube has selected for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in a few days with another video. Bye-bye.